What's going on guys? Welcome back to this episode of Restoration with Vic. What I have for you guys today are these Air Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard 3.0s that need a little bit of custom work. I'm not going to sit here and bash the shoe, but the shoe is pretty ugly. We'll start off with the soles. The soles are a little bit too yellow for my liking. It does not flow with the orange and black at all. On these uppers, they just look really cheap. They almost look like trash bags. It's so wrinkled up, it just looks like it's ready to fall apart. This does not look good. But with a little bit of custom work, I'm confident we can get this shoe looking right. So without further ado, let's fix Jordan Brad's mistake one more time. So the first thing we're gonna do is put this shoe to the side since we're only gonna be working on the right shoe for before and after purposes. Next, we're gonna take out our insert and lace. Good to go with removing the lace off the shoe. The next thing we're gonna do is use acetone and cotton balls to remove some of the glossy finish of the uppers. All done removing the factory finish off these uppers, they still look super shiny, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. We'll take care of that later on in this video. What we're gonna focus on now is the outsoles. First step is to tape off the uppers. They're like the exact same color as the tape, the outsoles. All done taping up this area. To save us some tape, we're gonna use some paper towels to cover up the rest of the shoe. All right guys, that's gonna wrap it up on this custom. That's how you fix Jordan Brad's mistake, by covering up these ugly uppers with some tape and paper towels. Just kidding, we still gotta finish up this custom. The next thing we're gonna do is paint. Off camera, we went ahead and sprayed it with some Bulldog Adhesion Promoter. What this stuff does is it helps the paint adhere to these rubber outsoles. Make sure to do it outside though, cause this stuff reeks. We're gonna lay down some opaque white to cover up these ugly outsoles. Again, I'm not bashing the shoe. <laughs> no! I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright guys, here's where we're at. We got the yellow covered up. We got the white glowing. It looks nice and smooth. Now we gotta cover all that up so we can lay down our orange paint through the airbrush. So what I'm doing right now is covering up the white. I'm following that little thin line that divides the outsole with the midsole to get that perfect tape job. All taped up, you guys. Let's lay down our bright orange from Jacquard.
right guys, all done laying down this orange, looks super dope, it's very vibrant, and pretty much looks factory. Now to protect this paint job, we gotta go outside and spray it with some Carlon matte finish. Carlon matte finish is applied. We also went ahead and removed the tape off the uppers. This should look a lot better already just by covering up that ugly yellow sole. Now before we can cover up the glossy finish on the uppers, we gotta tape off the tongues and the sock liners. All right, guys, as you can see, we're all taped up, ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is cover up this glossy finish using Angelus Matte Finisher through my airbrush. I'm not worried about taping up the midsoles because this is just a finisher and it'll give the paint job extra protection. All right, you guys, matte finish is applied. This shit looks freaking awesome. You can't even tell it's a 3.0 version. The matte finish also did a really good job hiding a lot of the creasing all around the shoe. This shit looks amazing. And the last thing we gotta do to make this shoe fully wearable is apply our Rejuvenator Soul Shield onto these painted soles. So the first step when applying Soul Shields, you guys, you're gonna wanna grab your Soul Shield. The glossy finish always goes down. The matte finish goes up. You wanna put your shoe right above it. Grab a pen. We have our pen. Now we're gonna to wanna to grab the shoe nice and tight and trace around it. And simply cut out the shape. All right, we got our social cut out. Next, you're gonna to wanna to peel it apart. Beautiful. Now you're gonna to wanna to grab your shoe. Usually when I apply soul shields, I like to put it on my lap just to keep it nice and sturdy. Okay, sole shields applied. For this step, you're gonna need to use a heat gun to apply heat. Never use a blow dryer. We always recommend using a heat gun. All right, now that the heat's applied, either using a towel or your fingers, you're gonna wanna apply pressure all around the sole shield. All right guys, all done with that. We got the sole shields nicely applied on the soles. The last thing we gotta do is apply our traction pads for grip.
The very last step you gotta do is apply heat onto the traction pads so they can bond nicely to the soul shield. All done with that, you guys. We got the traction pads and soul shields fully applied on the shoe. Here's Vic's tip number three. The reason why we do this is so it can protect the paint. If we don't apply soul shields and I go and wear these, the paint will come right off as soon as it make contact with the floor. All right, you guys, that's gonna bring us to an end on this custom 3.0 Shatter backboards. Honestly, this is how Jordan Bradshaw released them. These look super dope, the matte finish on them. Honestly, I think my favorite part in this whole custom is the soles. It looks really bulky because there's only a one tone on this sole. Now, this version over here, my version, just looks a lot better. The orange and the white, it just contrasts nicely on the uppers. Just everything about it, you guys. Let's break down exactly what I did. The first step I did was prep the uppers using acetone and cotton balls. Once that was good to go, we jumped to the soles, covered up the yellow using white and orange paint, then jumped back to the uppers, used Angelus matte finisher to get rid of all the glossy finish on the entire upper. And lastly, we made the shoe fully wearable using our Rejuvenator Soul Shields that you can find at rejuvenator.com. Use my promo code in the description below. Like I said, you guys, this shoe turned out awesome. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about the 3.0.1 version or the 3.0.2 version, my version. That's gonna wrap it up, you guys. This is Vic Almighty. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. See you guys next Monday.